my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare. Start. Hello, everyone. Hopefully, you can get, hear me. If you can, do me a favor. Give me a sound check, real quick. I'm still in the process of turning stuff on, doing multiple platforms today, and uh, just trying to make sure that everybody is aware of what is happening with prep stock. That's the off button. That's not even the right remote control for that. There we go. Let's turn that on. Let's turn that on. And I think there's one more I want to get on just so I can see things clearly. There we go. <laughs> I think we're all set up here now. And we're going to go ahead and push some more buttons over here. And we're going to push some buttons over here and see how much bandwidth we can actually suck up because it's just uh, it's just insane. It's just insane in the membrane. Five by five. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. Looks like we've got about 10 people here on the YouTube. So we're going to give it time to 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 sink in. we got some people over there on the Rumble side. Man, I got the whole everything. I think the only thing I'm not on right now is Facebook. And that's just because they make things so difficult. But anywho, let's see here. Uh, over there on Rumble, Leroy first. <laughs> well, it's a Bulwark's morning, y'all. Number two, Ed Beecher, you are deterred. And we got here. Um, all right. So it looks like we've got uh, we got well, we got fifteen people are over there on Rumble. Make sure you guys check in and say hi. Don't be slackers. And let's see what do we got. Um, we have nobody. We have nobody. It looks like some people are trying to come in on the clapper side. I see one or two people popping in over there. Make sure you guys hang out, stick around. We're going to be talking about prep stock and the things that are happening in the world as well. This is not strictly a... I figured I would come on, to be honest with you guys, and just talk about whatever. But uh, but the big, big thing... You know what? I better say hi to everybody on the YouTubes because people are piling in here now. Uh, we got Beecher, number one. Andy Pearson, number two. Catitude, you are the turd. The turd, Bradley Collins. We got uh, Andy Pearson, maybe omnipresent. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Uh, where we got? We got Deborah. We got Catitude. We got Ian. We got Bradley. Everybody is starting to pile in here. I'm not sure who's over on the Clapper side. Do me a favor, check in, say hi, and I'll say hi back to you, as well as the people who are over on TikTok because I rarely get on TikTok. Uh, let's people are people are piling in on the TikTok. I appreciate it. Now, so for the Clapper and the TikTok guys. Guys, I am not like super familiar with all these little bells and whistle things. So if I start, if you start making my screen do some weird stuff, I appreciate you. Just telling you up front, right off the bat. I got a can of Red Bull. I got a full cup of coffee. And this could last for a while. So we shall see what happens. Uh, let's see here. Bradley Collins says, uh, you know what? I, I always forget that I can push these. Bradley Collins says, good thing about being a turd as you float and it's, and it, it, it's a rainy, rainy day. Yes, Bradley, stay safe. Bradley's in one of those uh, those flooding areas. I talked to him this morning. Hit town, honey. Good morning to you, young lady. Good to see you. Good to see you They're over there on the Clapper side. Hit town, do me a favor. Could you? Um, so on Clapper, I actually have a store set up with the tickets, uh, with all the sale prices on them. Can you see that somewhere on your screen? Because on my side, I don't see anything but myself. Oh, uh, let's see here. We are, we have a lot of people joining on the TikTok side, but and it's saying that you're joining. Uh, but uh, g guys, do me a favor on the TikTok, like hit that like button or whatever. It's telling me, it's giving me these little things on my screen saying, "Hey, do this and hey, do that." I think I there we go. I can make it so much bigger. Morning, more rain here. Debbie, got you, Debbie Chandler. I appreciate it. Thank you for being a human being and saying hi to me. JDM, hello, how are you? Good to see you, young lady. Hopefully things are going well with you in your world. Uh, let's see here. Hecktown Honey says, hey, friends, over on Rumble. She is omnipresent today. What's up? We're going to talk about, we're going to get this started, and we're going to talk about... Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put up, I need to put a banner on here just so that, uh, you know, it's, uh, you guys know what I am, what I'm doing. Okay. Prepstock.net. Okay. So guy, why, the, the, why is the live stream here? Why is it prevalent? Why are, why am I saying to go to prepstock.net? Because here's the thing, what's been happening. And I need to make sure I can turn those comments back on. What's been happening is everybody. Hey, what's up, Sergey? Good to see you, bro. Major Ken, make me jump in. Are you a shady? <laughs> you are a shady. <laughs> I made you do it. 
I, I twisted your arm. But you're already up to speed, Major Ken. Major Ken's already up to speed, okay? Uh, Hickdown says, I don't see anything for tickets here. I gotcha. I, ah, oh, man, I really, uh, I see a shopping cart. What is it? I'm going to push this button. I'm going to push that button. Uh, items to shop live. Uh, add items to shop. Hold on a second here. I got to push a button. This damn, this damn things. Add, ah, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. This, 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 this thing is like doing, I, hopefully I didn't just dump right out of my clapper live stream. Uh, I have no idea. I don't see anything for tickets. Uh, I don't know how to make that that happen. And uh, this is literally add items for lives for lives. It's just doing whatever it wants to do. It's really a pain in the ass. Okay, so I appreciate that. Um, so uh, here here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Um, I see people that are starting to pile in over on the TikTok side. I. I Frosty, good to see you, bro. I have not seen you since Christ was a corporal. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see here. JDM says, okay, I switched to Rumble. Good morning. <laughs> okay, guys, we've been going at this for about six minutes, and I haven't really said anything. Uh, let's see here. Please try not to leave your screen when you are live, because this will cause your live to not appear on FYP. I, I, I don't know. I guess Clapper's pissed at me. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Everybody has been waiting for these prep stock tickets. They have been available since last October, okay? We have sold enough to hold the event, so we're not out there begging and screaming. But what we are doing today is we're reminding you. This is happening at a campsite in uh, at a state park in, I think it's Lake St. James, in Nebo, North Carolina. And... Uh, the uh, uh, the campsites, the way they the way their electronic or their digital uh, system works is you cannot uh, reserve your campsite until six months out. Okay, today is the day. There are limited campsites. I think there's 16 on the hill. Uh, I could be wrong. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but. The important thing to know is that people were waiting to reserve a campsite and um, they didn't want to buy a ticket unless they can get a campsite. So this stream is actually like for them. OK, and I know there's things that I'm going to show on my on uh, on the uh, the rumble, on the X and on uh, on YouTube that you guys will not be able to see on the Clapper side and you will not be able to see on the TikTok side. But I can walk you through it. It's not a big deal. This is the 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 thing, okay, guys? And I think it's important right now uh, that uh, oh, Major Ken says there are 18 uh, spots. Well, it's actually less than that because people were up. I'm not joking. People were up at like midnight, actually past midnight last night, okay? Uh, trying waiting for like mid midnight Easter, like 12.01 a.m. Eastern time so that the system would allow them to reserve it. And that, that didn't work out too well for them. But people got up this morning and were like, boom, 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 knocking it out. I already know of at least one or two people that have already got their campsites, the best campsites. They're going to be like right there. Any person says six minutes of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oh, uh, got you. Uh, let's see here. And uh, let's see. We're going to go. We're going to do that right there. Andy Person says six minutes of blah, blah, blah. I always forget that I can do that on this software. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off there. And if you guys do post something interesting in there, then I will definitely put you up on the screen. Rumble, guys, I can't do anything like that, but I can definitely talk to you. So we got thermal. Uh, looks like thermal mechanical showed up. Laser is here. And uh, Andy Pearson is now rumbling me. I don't know what that means. That sounds a little dirty, but it is okay. All right, so um, tickets, guys. Uh, let's. We're, here, we're, here's what we're gonna do. I've got to. Um, I've got to. I'm gonna go to. Uh, brr, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Prepstock.net, and then I'm gonna go there, and then I'm going to. I've got to. I've got to tell the old Rumbles here to uh, to show that screen for you guys. Um, present slides, extra camera, share screen, and we're gonna go to. Uh, we don't want it to be a tab. We want it to be a window. Um, that's not working. 
Maybe it is a tab. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Prep stock tickets live survival prepper. No, that's not it. Why is it? It's it's not letting me. Oh, there it is because it had no icon. I, boom. We're going to go ahead and share that screen, guys. So everybody on there, what I've already done is I've already gone over to uh, prep stock. And um, I'm waiting to see what it's going to look like over here on the other screen real quick. All right. Oh, man, I really wish that was bigger. That's what she said. Uh, I think what I need to do is take me out of the picture so that you guys can actually see it. Um, I don't know. Solo layout, mute. No, I don't want to do that. Ugh. I'm not really a fan of what you guys are seeing there. I think that you guys should be able to see more of that stuff. Um, let's see. If I... You know what? Uh, let's just... Let's try it like this. Boom. There you go. Now you can see a little bit more. Okay. So, guys, here's here's the deal. All right. Uh, hey, recognize that Woody Woobie jacket? Yes, yes. Uh, M60. Uh, was it what, what was it? It was it. It was it M65 or M60 field uh, field uh, field jacket liner. Yes, I love this thing. This is like this is a wearable Woobie. It is the stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Andy Person sent me one dollar. Andy, you have just given me. I'm not joking. I have just. I think I've made like six or nine dollars over two years on Rumble. <laughs> so thank you for that dollar. And I know four of them were were an accident by by one of the ladies that that's inside the uh, uh, in the Patreon. It's like oh, it's like when I first went over to Rumble, they uh, she, she accidentally pushed the the money button <laughs> and sent me like four bucks. Now if you guys want to send me some money, find that money button. You know how to do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so um, prep stock, guys. Uh, I need to go to that web page so you can see what I'm doing. Obviously, buying the tickets, really easy. Uh, just go to prep stock, to, to click for tickets here. It's going to take you over to the Ticket Leap website. Uh, and then you're going to click on Get Tickets. And this is obviously, once again, this is October 12th through the 13th, Nebo, North Carolina. Uh, right now, the adult tickets are forty nine ninety nine. Now there are fees involved. We couldn't. It, it, that's how the ticket site makes their money. But we wanted to be upfront and let you guys know exactly what you're going to be paying for. Okay, uh, young adults. That's going to be thirteen to seventeen is twenty five ninety nine. Uh, and uh, the children twelve and under. There's actually a story. Those were, and I'm. I know I'm going to catch hell for this, but I talked Jester into it, and I just felt like, hey, listen, if you if you brought a kid. OK, to, you know, to to the movies with you. And they were tw I think it's under 12 or 12 and under. They get in for free. You know what I'm saying? And we thought that was the case. But what we have to do is we have to be able to track, OK, uh, the amount of people because we're only allowed to have so many people in that spot in the park. This is very niche. This is very small community based type uh, event. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean. We're we're gonna we're probably gonna have some walk-in tickets uh, for like this day or that day, okay? But the reality is is that everybody needs to get their tickets up front on the website so that they don't have any problems when they get there because that's the last thing we want to focus on the event and not on if, if somebody bought a ticket. And we have ways of telling once you get there. But get 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 off me! Andy just gave me ten darn it. Well, darn it! There's a couple of coffees. And my place is number one Rumble supporter. Andy, you are the man. He's the biggest donator ever. Andy Pearson just gave me $10. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, sir. Uh, I, 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 I feel kind of weird, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and check. Um, I don't see anything for tickets here. Uh, on the clapper side, it doesn't look like anybody's in the clapper anyway. So in the clapper side, you can actually buy your tickets on clapper. We've made that available. People seem to like that. We tried to move away from it, but we're bringing that back just because we want people to get them on the platform that they like. So uh, those are the price tickets. Now, these are vendors. Like, So if you're a vendor and you're in here right now and you want to set up set up a, a, a table area, it's going to cost you 50 bucks. Okay. Uh, and if you want to uh, set up a booth, it's a 10 by 10 booth. You bring all your own stuff, but you set it up. Uh, it's uh, going to be ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, this is not a vendor specific event. This is for people in the community, and our sponsors have made it all possible to give bunches and bunches of stuff away to you. All right, so uh, that's how you get the tickets. That's how you get the tickets. Now, 
Here's the thing, guys. What you need to do if you want to camp, okay, is you need to go to, you know what? Uh, I don't think I actually showed you guys the tickets. Did it? The tickets never showed up on the screen. I didn't push the magical button. I was just running my suck. So I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you. We're going to share this tab instead. This is what it looks like after you push the button. Uh, matter of fact, let's go backwards. That's what it looks like after you push the green bu button at uh, prepstock.net. Then you push the blue button. I don't know why there's got to be so many buttons. And then there's the actual tickets. You select them with Visa, all that stuff. So these are official tickets. This is the real deal. All right. So we're going to go back to uh, the main tab and uh, we're going to uh, show you the next thing that you got to, you guys got to do. Okay. The next thing you guys got to do is you got to go to more and camping. Okay. And once you've done that, this has already got all the links for you and everything. And these are all these are all the campsites that are the closest. You follow this trail right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Yeah, you can. And you go back up that way. And right around here is where we're going to be doing it. Uh, let's see. Um, and then it's uh, so the campsite uh, details are actually pretty simple. This is actually the one of the real campsites that they have there. Uh, let's see here. It's the Catawaba River Area Walk in Campground. Uh, and once again, it's a walk-in campground, guys. Uh, and that means that you park at the top of a hill and you have to carry all your stuff down to your camping spots. Now, good news is good trail access. Uh, the next thing is, is they actually have like wagons, okay? Uh, so you can actually like tote all your stuff down and then bring the wagon back up to the top for somebody else to use. Um, there are campsites, as you were looking at that picture, so this is like the very top of the hill, okay? And then there are campsites that are on this trail that surround it down towards the bottom and edges. Uh, this is really cool because, yeah, that's blue and that's water. Uh, and I'm sorry for the uh, the TikTokers that you cannot see this. Please go to prepstock.net uh, and uh, you will be able to see what we're, what we're talking about. <clears throat> but anyway, so... Um, Let's see. Uh, and then you obviously you need to make your reservations. And today is April the 11th is the data strike. So if we go to res uh, uh, reserve a campsite, it's going to take you to the North Carolina state. And once again, where are we at here? Lake St. James Park, category camping, uh, tucked into the rolling hill country of the base of the mighty Louisville, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so uh, what you want to do is you're going to go through their little search algorithm right here. It's for Lake St. James Park, and then you're going to find what you want. So uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm kind of curious. Um, so we're going to go April. Let's go to October. <clears throat> and let's see here. This could be a huge mistake right now. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go October 12th. Uh, length of stay, two days, and not flexible and search available. And we're going to see what's what's available for us right now. Arriving date may be beyond reservation window. Uh, where we got here? Uh, there we go. And then there's all the campsites. Catawaba River walk-in. Looks like they're available. $23 a day. One, two. Somebody told me they got campsite 16 already. So, um, yeah, something like that. Uh, it, it'll probably tell me uh, basically go away unless until I actually go through the process. So this is the website that you guys have to use. It, the camping is $23 a day. Um, let's see if I can find the map. That's the one I want right there. I can't make that bigger. That's what she said. Um, we're going to do that. So ba there we go. So uh, the camping is right here, okay, on this hill area. And the, you park up here and then you walk down these trails and stuff. But the actual where we're going to be doing it is like right here. Woo, I didn't want to push that button. It's like right here. It's in this general area right here. So yeah, we actually have this really nice walking trail. It takes like five to seven minutes to walk over to the actual site where we're going to be having the event. So these are the actually the best the best camping spot. Now, if you can't get one in that area, there are or in that particular spot. There are others in that area. Okay. Uh, so you just have to go find them uh, and uh, and and reserve them. And I know there's people that want to do car camping. Th that is possible in the surrounding uh, uh, campsites, not in this particular one, uh, but it is possible. Uh, so uh, don't don't get don't get taken aback by that particular thing. Um, 
Where are we at here? Um, I did it again, guys. I did it again. I did it again. All right, hold on a second here. Let me close that window. I did it again where I didn't show you uh, reserve. We're going to click on reserve a campsite, and then we're going to go move over to that tab, and I have to share that tab now. And this is what it will actually look like. Um, so category camping, and then you put the amount of days in, and then you do the search engine stuff, and then it tells you what's available. Boom, 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 just like that. All right, so I don't want to cover that uh, any more than I need to. Um, and I just pushed the wrong button. So now weird stuff's going to happen, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go back over to the screen share and we're going to put that back on the prep stock webpage. Uh, and then, uh, you know, like I said, this is the, the, the actual, what an actual campsite looks like. Uh, and this is, um, <clears throat> it's the Catawaba river area walk in campground. Uh, it's the, they are all, all non-electric. Uh, the maximum amount of people is six. There's a total of 20 sites available and pets are allowed at most of these sites. Um, let's see here. Um, sets, ignore that. They're not set up to take earlier. We might have to adjust that. But uh, And then you can get your camping directions. We really set this website up. So it's like, okay, so now how do I get there? And then you literally, there it is right there in your Googles. And all you have to do is get directions and type in your address and so on. You know what? I did that again. Share this. There we go. So you literally just like, okay, so there it is. It's already it's already there. It's already there. We click directions and then you start typing in stuff that, you know, from where you want to uh, uh, come from. And it's, it's really, really that easy. All right. So um, I guess the next thing, the next thing is, is uh, you guys need to get in there and you need to get your tickets. And you need to get your uh, your camping reservations done. But hey, if you wanted to, if the uh, there's lodging in the area, the first the first uh, year that I went to, um, where are we at here? I need to I need to change windows. Let's go ahead and uh, remove that. The first year that I went to the another event. I'm not even going to say the name of the other event. Okay. Um. I'm, I, uh, we, we camped and it was great and we had lots of fun, man. It looks like my signal degradation is really, really bad on the rumble. I don't know what it looks like on the YouTube. Um, you are good, but your map is frozen. It's Catawaba cat, cat, it's Catawaba. Yeah. The girlfriend says that to me all the time. It's Catawaba. <laughs> but anyway. So, um, this is, uh, what, what am I, what am I, what am, what was I, you threw me off big time. Airlines can't pronounce, airlines can't pronounce words, words too hard. <laughs> words hard. All right. Looks like Canada got, uh, campsite number 13. Nice night. Uh, let's see here. Um, 16 and 17 are gone. Uh, Bradley says, I would love to join you, but unfortunately some things are just not possible. But very curious as to how it works out. Yeah. Uh, and morning all questions answer about reservation open time. Yes, Dave. Reservations are now open uh, for, for everything. So get your ass in there and get your tickets. And bam, you got to do it. We got to do it. We got to do it, guys. We're giving away way too many things. Uh, we're still working on some way to do a... We've got to make a little bit of money on this uh, so that we don't go in the red. Right now, we're in the red, so we need to make a little bit of money. So what we're trying to do is find different ways to do that uh, and with, some of the, uh, with some of the sponsor items. It is what it is. We're going to figure it out. North Carolina is pretty particular on some of its laws, and we want to make sure that we don't break any of those laws. Um, where we got here, um, Andy says, speaking of coffee, come on, slackers, buy him a coffee. I got you. I appreciate that, Andy. Hicktown Honey says, uh, pack the bug spray. Yes. Uh, first time you went, you stayed where? Um, oh, the first time you went? I'm not saying the name of that event. I don't want to talk about them anymore uh, because they are, they, they're literally just a uh, prepper camp. Um, it's literally just a vendor mall is, is all it is. The, 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 uh, the speakers show up, uh, they set up a booth someplace and they say, Hey, I'm so-and-so I've been doing this. I'm really cool. And when we're done here, 
go come up and talk to me in my booth and I'll sell you some stuff. That's why they're really there, guys. That's why they're really there. We wanted to try and stay away from that. Uh, we do have the opportunity for some true professionals. Uh, my screen is frozen on YouTube. Is that is that what you're saying, Ian? Let me uh, let me push the old YouTube buttons here and find out what is what is going on here. Rubstock.net. It's taking its time. Yeah, it's it's uh you're right, it's frozen. Do uh Ian, do I still have sound on YouTube? Oh, there we go, it started moving. Okay. Uh I'm not sure exactly why it's doing that. I think it's just a bad internet day. Uh so um it it that could be it. Uh you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh and I'm not seeing anybody on the clapper, so I'm gonna kill the clapper uh because there's there's nobody there anyway. So I'm going to close that off and that'll, that'll give me a little bit more bandwidth. Uh, and so things might clear up a little bit. Uh, we got some new comments to, uh, solar flares. <laughs> My YouTube is fine. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. Um, let's see here. I got to get back over to rumble so I can see what they're talking. I remember that. I think LB, uh, camp. Yes. Yes. JDM. I, uh, I camped. Um, let's see. Um, Matter of fact, we actually had a couple of people come out. Uh, we had uh, Frost, and I can never remember her name because she has a completely different persona online than she does in the real world. Uh, I'm not even if, if sure if she's if she's uh, still part of the group or not, but um, it is what it is. Oh, well, let's see here. But yeah, we camped. We had a good time. Uh, and uh, the second uh, time I went, I did not camp because I was working with Jester the whole time. Uh, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm just going to get in a hotel. And it was actually pretty nice. So sometimes it's it's really good for people to, you know, it's like go, you get to go home every night. You get to take a shower, maybe drink some beer. I mean, you just do whatever you want to do. People told me they're going to veg out in front of the TV and whatever. And then the next day, get up and come come to the, uh, uh, to the, to the, uh, Dave, I have, my YouTube is fun. I have 17. Dave, Dave did you buy your tickets today? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. Did anybody buy their tickets today? Uh, and uh, please, let, please let me know in the chat someplace. But anyway, uh, so it's actually kind of nice to be in one of the local hotels. Now, the, the good news is, um, is that uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, view that tab in StreamYard. And there we go. Um, view tab stream yard. Okay, so you guys should be seen. Oh, you know what? I need to add this. I need to. Ah, why is this thing? There we go. All right, so we're on the right page now. Um, so there are several hotels in the area, uh, in uh, not just in Nebo, but in the surrounding towns. And what you'll find is that the surrounding towns are only like 10 minutes away. Uh, and so you could literally just, we've actually got this all lined out. So you got Lake St. James right here. Uh, you also have alternate camping, which we haven't talked a lot about, but I know people want to camp. You've got the uh, Black Bear Campground. You've got Patty's Creek Campground. You've got uh, Lake James Camping Resort and Marina. And you've also got some more camping. I think it's up right around here. That's actually part of a state park system. So it is available. Uh, uh, alternate camping is available because I know people want a car camp. Uh, we also have on the website, prepstock.net, we have this lined up for hotels. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and share this tab. You push that button, it automatically finds, it automatically centers on where your where prep stock is, okay? And then all the surrounding hotels, okay? Now you can These are all close in. You can pull out a little bit more, and obviously you're going to find more uh, that are less expensive. Uh, unfortunately, this is one of those places. Wait a minute. There's one down there for 77 America's best value in, in Marion, two and a half stars. That's on you guys. <laughs> um, but, um, I just want you to know that you can actually find hotels in the area and, uh, that you'll actually be able to, um, go to and, uh, and stay in. Uh, instead of camping, if camping is uh, not available. Dave says, no, a while ago. I got gotcha. you. All right. So I'm looking at that. I'm looking at, the, I'm, I'm being able to see, we've still got a good amount of people jumping in and out of here. 
Uh, and then the uh, the next thing I want to talk about is food. Um, there is, and we may be offering it again, but um, there is a, we're going to go back to here and then we're going to go back to here. We're going to start share this tab instead. Uh, we're going to close that and close that. And then we're going to go to, uh, where are we at here? Uh, restaurants. So there's going to be several restaurants in the area. Um, but what I would, what I'm going to go ahead and recommend is that you guys spend your money at Ma's Country Kitchen. And here's why, because what they did was they gave us uh, a, for all the people who bought the early tickets, they gave us a free meal uh, or a free breakfast ticket. I'd have to go back and check out the early ticket stuff, but they gave us um, uh, where we had a click below for directions to Mama's Kitchen, uh, Kitchen to redeem your $5 coupon. The people who got in on the early tickets all received $5 coupons for their breakfasts. Uh, and Mom's uh, Mama's Kitchen, if we go to the maps and we share this tab, there's Mama's Kitchen right there. And then what do we have right up over here? Oh, boy. Where are we at here? There's Marion. We're going to go up here. Oh, look, there it is. There's a little park system right up there. Nothing to it, guys. This is this is not a long drive. It is. They are country roads, but they're not that bad. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's actually a, a, a actually a pretty good. It's it's uh, it's a good restaurant. I've eaten there several times. I think we actually put some pictures, uh, but there are other restaurants nearby as well. Obviously, this is where prep stock is. So at night, if you want to guys go out and get a, a Roma restaurant, makes really good Italian food. I can tell you that right now. It's a very traditional Italian food. Uh, and then obviously there's Mama's Kitchen again right there. But as you can see, there there is stuff all over the place. If we come on down here to Marion, Marion's bigger than than most people will give it uh, claims for. They got a Waffle House, they got a Hardee's, we got uh, Batam Chef, uh, Jalapeno Fresh Grill. What are, what's this one over here? What what do you got here? Restaurant Ye something Dora. I don't know what that is, but uh, th there's plenty of restaurants in the area that you can actually go out to and eat. So share this tab instead. There we go. We're going to jump to that. And then I forgot to show you guys that map again. No, there it is. Okay. It's just a delay on the rumble side. Okay. So that is what's going on with, uh, with, uh, let me see if there's any other stuff here. Um, the the uh, the other thing that I want to tell you guys about is the sponsors and supporters. We're gonna go, we're gonna make sure that that is the website here in a second that is actually streaming to make sure because there seems to be a, a significant delay. Um, make sure this is actually popping up. Streamyard. Oh, it's not even on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it looks like it's working now, and. Oh man, the delay is so significant that it's hard for me to tell where you guys are actually at. But I'm going to go ahead and go forward anyway. So um, the uh, you know the our sponsors and supporters are pretty uh, are, are pretty pretty freaking awesome. Um, and so to uh, EMP Shield, we've got three of their devices. It's about seventeen hundred dollars worth of stuff that they sent us. Uh, we're going to be um, uh, giving away and probably raffling off it depending on, I don't know if the word raffle is correct, uh, for North Carolina law, but we're going to, there's going to be one that's at least one that's free. And then there's going to be a couple that we're going to, that are going to go other, another way. Uh, August and farms has sent us six number 10 cans that I haven't even opened the box yet. Uh, we've got, uh, Bobby Spags from Spags unfiltered. What's up West Virginia, Pappy, uh, from Spags unfiltered. Uh, has donated uh, two of his Spags bags. These are $165 value. They are no joke. They're like uh, they're like uh, instant get home bag, and he's left room in it for you to put your own stuff in it. West Virginia Pappy is on site number three. I love it. I love it. Uh, what do we got here? We've got uh, Pro Camp Tech. Pro Camp Tech, probably the best fire starters I have ever used ever. Not a joke. I really love their little logs. Uh, I mean, you just slice a piece off. And then you light it. That's it. No, there's no magic. There's no magic. You don't have to do anything to it. You know, you just, you light it. Uh, so th there's a whole box full of their gear that they've sent us to give away. Uh, and then we've got uh, 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 Red's Remedies. And Red's Remedies is like apothecary, uh, tinctures, 
teas, things like that. Uh, and uh, they're donating that we haven't we haven't received her stuff yet because she has to make it and then bag it and all that stuff and send it to us. Uh, but uh, she is in the process of putting that all together for us. So we've got that that's going to be going out to you guys. Uh, this one I'm really interested in. This this seems vague. The water supply water supply tanks. So if you guys have been following me long enough, you know that uh, I uh, I did some affiliate work for water supply tanks about a year ago, and they sent me a 55 gallon tank. Uh, and um, it's like it's like full of blue black top, got the spigot on the bottom, water preservation stuff. But um, I even made a video. It's it's someplace on the YouTube's, but the um, uh, they've offered two of these tanks to us. And all it's going to happen is we're going to give you basically, we're going to give you a golden ticket. And that golden ticket is going to freaking have a special code on it. You go home, you get online, you go to their website, you order their stuff. And it's like, bill, 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 all this money, right? And then, uh, and then you type in that special code and all the numbers on the bottom turn to zero. And it comes via FedEx. No problem. No problem at all. So it is, uh, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. Uh, parcel safety, parcel safety, uh, has sent us, I believe two of the exact masks that you're looking at right there. The P 100s, uh, they had offered us some, some more, uh, where we got here, uh, the nature owl man. Oh, good to go. What's going on? Holy shnikes. Are you even allowed to say that word on this, on this platform? <laughs> Everybody's everybody's leaving the old TikToks and droves, going running over to Clapper, and uh, I, I don't know exactly what's happening. Penny, get out of there! What are you doing? Lay down. That's weird. I just caught her like in a corner, staring at stuff. Anyway, uh, but back getting back on point. Good, to, good to see you, natural man. Uh, but yeah, partial safety sent us two uh, of the uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the the P one hundred masks. Uh, let's see. Hell yeah. I don't have any problems on this app. Uh, I even do wine lives. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Oh, let's see here. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, and then we've got uh practical survival, practical survival. If you guys don't know anything about practical survival, it's a small company that got started up by, uh, Southern prepper one. Uh, and I've, uh, 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 spoken to him and he has sent us, uh, like a whole buttload of freaking uh, with the W R O L, uh, boxes, wait a minute, please, to give away uh, a whole buttload of the uh, of the water survival straws that his company makes, uh, and uh, we've even got some of those uh, ultralight wool blankets, uh, and there's a couple more things that he sent. I don't remember exactly what it was. Penny, no, she's chewing on herself. It's not good for you. All right, so uh, that's what's coming out from those guys. Uh, Refuge Medical, man, these guys, um, as you guys know, these are big names in the preparedness community. Uh, and it's, it's funny too, because when I look at the sponsors for these other really big events that are going on, like thousands of dollars being spent, nothing. They, they don't have these guys, which is really weird to me, but hey, oh, well, I guess they didn't do the legwork. Anyway, so Refuge Medical has sent us a uh, one of their FAC, uh, buckets uh and i'm gonna i'll actually be doing unboxings for all of these different little things uh and uh also uh one of their i think it's the surgical or the wound care buckets so two giant buckets full of stuff uh they've sent to us uh and uh let's see here um obviously we've got the old jace cases so jace medical uh has uh, offered it's either one or two once again this is going to be a golden ticket situation where we're going to uh we'll, we we will generate up these these tickets uh like when i say golden ticket you know, like the willy wonka thing it'll be kind of like that we'll try to do our best but it'll be something like that and it will have a, a special a code on it so that when you go through the process and when they say, give me money, you type in the code and you give them no money. So you get that Jace case for free, but obviously it's medicine. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a pharmaceutical. So uh, it has to come via prescription. You have to go through the process. So if you win, make sure you take advantage of it. This is this. And those are, I want to say those that were like 300 something dollars uh, so a piece. So that's no joke. Uh, we got grumpy acre farms. Who is our sponsor? Uh, he has sent us a box full of stuff that I have not even opened yet. 
I have been told that there are some freeze-dried Skittles in there. And he's already told me that if I don't show them during the unboxing, he'll know that I swiped them. Uh, we'll see what happens. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to go on a new diet uh, because uh, I think it's going to be healthier that way. But um, yeah, you guys will probably see those freeze-dried Skittles soon enough. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, we've got Hardcore Hammers. Hardcore Hammers, if you guys don't know what these guys are all about, uh, the the Hardcore Hammers is, um, they started off making very professional hammers for construction. Like these things are just like, they have the magnetic nail thing in them. They're just, they're just like a pro, you know, kind of like the difference between a, you know, you cooking at home with your Ginsu and a professional chef using a professional chef knife. It's kind of like that. Uh, and then they moved into the uh, survival hatchet and, and axe uh, space. And they've been making the survival hatchets that are freaking awesome. I actually unboxed uh, unboxed it um, uh, the other day during another video. Absolutely amazing piece of gear. And you guys are going to have your have have a shot at that. Uh, if, if you decide to buy tickets and show up, because ain't nothing being given away for free online. Uh, su supporters. Uh, we have the the local EMS and fire uh, that are going to be supporting the event. Uh, they're going to be teaching some things that people probably don't know. Uh, we also have the Virginia Department of Emergency Management, which is kind of funny because North Carolina has kind of blown us off. But uh, I live in Virginia. So, uh, yeah, they've sent us some stuff to give away to you guys. Uh, we also have uh, the Midwest Preparedness Project. Uh, those guys are supporting uh, our efforts in letting people know about the event. Uh, and then you've got uh, Jester for its Doomsday Podcast, obviously me, local prepper. Uh, you've got Shooter Ready. Shooter Ready is a company, I believe it's in Tennessee, uh, and they're actually going to be coming over and teaching uh, the um, some 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 things that you probably need to know uh, when you're when you're protecting yourself with a firearm. Uh, and then obviously we've got uh, Chaos Twenty Nine. You guys can find him all over Clapper. Uh, and then you've got the Fire and Ice Diner. Now, the Fire and Ice Diver is the only food truck that we'll have there. And it's going to be very simplified food. Uh, but they're showing up and they're going to uh, give you the opportunity to buy their stuff. All right, let's see here. Uh, and I think that's going to be about it right there as far as that goes. I think the next thing that I would want to talk about is the schedule. And obviously, guys, please remember that the schedule is very flexible. Uh, everything starts at 9 a.m. on Saturday, 12 October, uh, and uh, we're going to give you guys a little 15-minute welcome aboard, give you a chance to eat your super donut and drink your coffee and, and just do those things that, that, that settle in. And then, obviously, the first class is going to be on doomsday mentality. Jester is going to teach that to you guys. Uh, there are certain things that we need to think about uh, when it comes to the mental aspects of survival. Uh, then we've got the uh, water bath canning class, and uh, uh, the uh, that that is going to kind of stretch out uh, because obviously we can't have you sitting there for 90 minutes doing nothing, but we're going to be going over the basics of that and making sure that everybody understands how it happens and what you can and cannot uh, water bath can. Uh, then you've got apocalypse leadership. I'll actually be teaching that class. Uh, I'll be bringing in uh, some, some very specific things about leadership, leading your family, leading groups, leading organizations uh, during a, a, a an SHTF situation, the kind of things that you'll probably need to know. And then obviously we'll break for lunch. Uh, guys, like I said, we're going to have a food truck there, but it's camping, guys. So chow one, chow is continuous. And uh, two, um, you need to be able to like feed yourself. <laughs> if we find more food vendors, we find more food vendors. But let's face it, you need to, this is a camping you know, prepper survival, you know, kind of gathering. So you need to have your trash in one bag for lunch. Uh, we got here, uh, and then we've got uh, be your own supply chain. Uh, this is going to be mostly talking about not depending on the Walmart and the local store. And when things go bad, things will shut down. And these are these are the things that you are going to want to know want to know about. Uh, then we've got use of force. This is basically a placeholder title. Uh, for the exact class that which will eventually change. Uh, and this is based on, um, well, like it says, use of force, Wh what you can and cannot do to defend yourself, uh, your family, your property, things of that nature. And this will be actually be taught by a an actual law enforcement professional 
uh, and someone who uh, is who does this type of training every day. Uh, Wilderness Rescue, that's going to be uh, our local fire department. They're going to come out there because they are actually the Wilderness Rescue as, as, as experts for that particular area. Uh, and then uh, we haven't got a, we've got somebody we're talking to about the four to four fifteen time frame, uh, but we're not going to talk about that until we actually have them locked down. And then we've got Barter Town. Now Barter Town is actually kind of cool. We actually have our own little tab for Barter Town. We're going to drop over here. I'm going to click onto Barter Town, and then I'm going to uh, view this tab in Streamyard. There we go, and you guys should be able to see this. All right, so Barter Town. So what is Barter Town? Uh, Barter Town, uh, in trade, barter derived from Barator is a system of exchange in which participants in a transaction directly exchange goods or services for other goods or services without using medium of exchange such as money. Barter Town will happen in the evening after the lectures uh, uh, lectures are over uh, for the day. Uh, if you bought a prep stock 2024 ticket, you can participate. Bring your stuff and let the bartering begin. A limited number of tables will be available to display your wares. The rules are simple. The rules are simple, guys. Uh, bring stuff. Bring things that people might find interesting. No money or cash, slash cash, physical or digital, can be used. Precious metals can be used, but do not have to be accepted. No firearms, no fuels or combustibles, no cannabis products, leaf, seed, oil, flowers, tinctures, concentrates, or any type of edible. If your item is from cannabis, do not bring it. Uh, so basically, don't do that. Uh, good morning from Central Kansas. What's up, Tinfoil Tammy? Um, do nothing that would get you or me arrested. All local, state, and federal laws, rules, regulations, or ordinance apply. So nothing illegal. Uh, if you don't like something, move on. No getting into arguments over prices. Haggling is one thing, but being a dick is not allowed. Stuff, ideas, ideas for things to bring to barter town, to barter with or for. Tents, tarps, sleeping bags, specialty clothing gear. Maybe it's military gear, water jugs, water filters, dry food staples, camp stoves, first aid kits, gas masks, multi-tool, emergency radio, headlamps, lamps, candles, flashlights, soup. Sewing kits, fishing gear, radios, etc. All right. Note, if it's uh, prepper related and doesn't break the rules, you can barter it. If you have a question about the rules prior to prep stock dates, contact us below. So you can actually like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this for Barter Town. Uh, yeah. Dang, I was going to bring beer. Yeah, unfortunately, alcohol is not allowed in the park. Anywho, hint, hint, Rexy. Uh, so Re Rexy, so you're... Uh, you have your prep stock tickets already, Rexy? I'm kind of curious because I already know a handful of people that do already. Uh, good morning from Miss Tinfoil's husband. Great info. What's up, Brian? Good to see you, bro. Uh, hopefully you guys are attending. I mean, hopefully this isn't just information to you. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Info speakers. Oh, let's go. We can go over the speakers since we're on this tab. Uh, let's see here. And now I'm actually missing one or two right now. Uh, obviously, you've got Jester. Uh, you've got me, the uh, the local prepper. What we got here? We've got uh, Jay Herschelworth, also known as B-Man Jay. Uh, and then what we got here, we've got the uh, the local fire rescue. Uh, we've got Rusty Shackelford is who's going to be teaching some communication stuff. James Jones, good morning from Virginia. Which part? I'm on the eastern shore. Let's see here. Um, and then you've got uh, the gun guy, Scott. Uh, he's from Shooter Ready. He's going to be teaching us all the tactical stuff. Nor Folk. Nice. Nice. We, we ought to link up, man. You ought to message me sometime. Contact local prepper at gmail.com. Uh, let's see here. And then uh, we've got uh, Edge uh, 29 Chaos. He's going to be teaching us the food stuff. Uh, and then obviously there's a couple more that we need to add. All right. And then I'm trying to see if there's any more information like let's go to info info at prep stock what do we got what you can expect okay so this is actually believe it or not this picture right here guys this is the bathrooms <laughs> this place is really really nice um the uh the actually the, the men's room is right there and the women's room is right there but this is actually the picture from uh the facility that has the bathrooms in it 
Um, we've got our activities. Uh, this is the end. This is where you come into the uh, the main entrance. Um, and then uh, this is when I was telling you guys about Mama's Kitchen. If you guys bought that or those early bird tickets, uh, you're going to receive two day breakfast voucher for each ticket worth five dollars. You get one egg, you get one meat, you get one piece of toast, you get one pancake, you get one cup of coffee. That's it's right there. I actually went there. They made it exactly the what we wanted and said, this is what we're going to get. And that's exactly what it would look like. Uh, let's see here. And there's also supposed to be a tentative potluck dinner, but I don't know if that's going to happen because we have a lot of people that are kind of uh, coming from way out of town and it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, uh, let's see here. Or food vendors are being organized, but plan to live out of your bug out bag if necessary. Uh, this is a prepper gathering and you are camping. I can't stress that enough. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, uh, we're starting a new biz, uh, Flint Hills Homestead and Survival Solution. Well, good for you. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. All right, let's see here. Um, and then we are our, our frequently asked questions. What is prep stock? So prep stock is a gathering of preppers, homesteaders, and survivalists where attendees can learn from experts in the field and meet vendors, kind of, with the products they need to stay prepared. Uh, this was written before we decided not to do a lot of vendor stuff. Camping. Uh, what are the accommodations? Camping. So be prepared to camp. Uh, navigate to the uh, camp tab and make your reservation there. There are also local hotels in the area. And you could click that. Here you go to look at the hotels. But yes, camping, 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 guys. Uh, let's see here. Um, and so get your tickets and then get your campsite. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I need to be an expert to attend? No. Prep stock is open to anyone with an interest in preparedness, survival, or homesteading. Attendees will be the opportunity to learn from real preppers and connect with like-minded individuals. Let's see here. What's the cancellation policy? Tickets are non-refundable. We got to put that right out there, out front, because we had some people that tried to play games with us last year, and we're just trying to avoid the problem. So we tell people right out front, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, what do we got here? And then how many lectures, like workshops, were there, were there, will there be? Uh, I've already covered that with the actual schedule. And if you're happy with that, you can click the ticket button and it'll take you to the ticket site. All right. See, is there anything else? Lodging, restaurants, location, uh, location. So for those of you wondering where all of this is going, it's going in Lake St. James Park in Nebo, North Carolina, or near Nebo, North Carolina, because there's Nebo, and then there's the park. Uh, and uh, if you click on any of these buttons, it will take you to the maps so that you can literally just type in your location and say, get directions. Uh, I did this so that, like, if you were, like, out driving, like, you you started driving this way, and you're like, oh, let's go ahead and plug in the digits. Let's get the GPS all fired up. You could literally just go to... Uh, the website, prepstock.net, uh, go to, uh, where, where, where are we at here? Uh, what was it? Um, what we, how did we get there? Um, can't, or location. And then click the button, and then your Google will start to work, and you can, you can do all that stuff. Also, um, then you've got the Big Mac. People are like, where is it? How far away is it from everything? So we threw the Big Mac up here, and obviously this is where it's taking place. It's, it's in, the I would say, the Charlotte uh, Spartanburg region. Uh, we've got Greenville over here. Um, and what do we got here? One hour and 47 minutes west, north, northwest of Charlotte, North Carolina. I think you guys can read that. You'll come back to the website and, and do this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Um, and I think that's going to be about it. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and click that off that right there. There we go. Looks like we still got a handful of people. Uh, Bradley had to run away. Good, 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 Bradley. Um uh, how disabled friendly is this site? Ian. Okay. So Ian at the top of the hill, when you go to, uh, make your reservations, there are handicap sites at the top of the hill. Now, if you're completely like, like you can't get around on your feet or you can't make that, that hike from the campsite to the event site, then the road actually drives, you can drive around on the road to get to the actual event site. Um, I don't know if there's any, I'm trying to remember if there's a ramp. I think there's a ramp that actually goes down into the actual event seating area. Um, uh, but it is, once again, it is, it is camping. So that's something that we just need to be aware of. 
but yes, it does. Uh, I know that there were at least two uh, 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 handicap sites at the top of the word. If I'm not using the appropriate pronoun, I or name for handicap now, whatever they call handicap people now, uh, I I don't apologize because that's what the word means. Uh, anyway, so uh, 19 to 20 uh, ADA. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, West Virginia Pappy. So 19, 20 are uh, the the ADA sites. <coughs> Uh, American Disabilities Association, I think, or something like that. Okay. So now that we got all of that stuff all taken care of, which is great, I think. Um, what, what, what is this? Oh, oh, that's definitely not the right button. We're just going to go ahead and remove that from the studio. Okay. So uh, if you've got any questions about prep stock, do me a favor, throw them in the chat right now. I will do my very best between the three different chats here to answer any questions that you have. I think we've covered it pretty much. We've been going at this for almost an hour, not counting the lead in. Uh, and so I think that uh, that data has been promptly projected. If you ha have ed had any doubts about going to prep stock this year, that should all be that should all be taken away. You should be clicking on buttons and setting up for October. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Peach says, hello, I'm new here. What is prep stock? Prep stock is a gathering of preparedness minded individuals going to Nebo, North Carolina in October 12th through the 13th. That's actually a long holiday. Uh, and, uh, with lots of, uh, event speakers that are going to be there teaching you all sorts of stuff about preparedness. It's also a camping event. Uh, you can camp or you can actually stay in the hotel out in town. That's really up to you. Hopefully that answered your question, Peaches. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Let's see here. Um, I'm not seeing any questions, guys. I'm not seeing any questions in the chats other than Peaches. So uh, let's see here. Renee Tinfo, honey. All right. So I think that's going to be about it for now. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, also, Andy, thank you for the $10. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, you will not be forgotten. I think that's going to be about it. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you at Prep Stock. If you uh, are watching this in the, if you're watching this in the re, in the, in the, because it's been recorded and not live, prepstock.net, get your tickets, watch this video, it tells you all about it. We'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.